Hey there, everybody. I'm Eric Osberg, and I'm the Rural Rebound Initiative Coordinator for Ottertail County, Minnesota. And we're here with another OTC Works video. And joining us today is Amanda Reynolds. She is the uh, Recruitment and Retention Manager at Perham Health. How, how are you doing today, Amanda? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. So, so tell us about Perham Health. Why should somebody work? Why should somebody choose a career at, at Perham Health? I think Perm Health is an awesome place to start, whether you are a high school student looking to get into the workforce, um, if you've gone through some education and you have a specialty that you want to get in healthcare related, or just if you're an adult looking for something different, we have options really for everybody. What are some typical, and I, and I know it's a fluid situation, so I don't want to box you in, but what are some types of careers or types of jobs that, that are typically available to, to, to folks out there? I'm glad you asked because there's a lot of positions that if you think of healthcare, you automatically think of, well, I'm sure they have a lot of nurses and doctors and that sort of thing. Um, but really we're a big organization. So we have everything. We have maintenance, we have housekeeping, we have laundry, we have dietary. So really it's, it's a broad option where you can really find something that works well for you. Not only do we have the hospital, which everybody's probably familiar with, um, we have the clinic, we have a therapy area, we have our long-term care campus, which is a whole nother gamut of other options. We have a nursing home there, we have home health care, we have assisted living, we have memory care areas. So there's really so many different options that if you start with us and there's one area that might not be the right fit for you or it's not what you thought it would be, there's something else within our organization and we want to help you make sure that you're in the right fit for you. So we have that option. Awesome. Awesome. So is there, is, do you guys ever describe the culture? I mean, you know, like, is there a culture at Perm Health? And if so, what, how would you describe the culture of the, the, the workforce there? Yes. So there's definitely a culture. And the one thing is healthcare. I mean, people care. Not only do they care about the patients or the residents, care about each other. I mean, in one of the last snowstorms we had, um, co-workers are picking each other up if they can't get out of their house because we still have patients and residents we need to take care of that they just help each other and do what they can. So really that culture is really that caring, um, really doing what we can to make sure everybody has the best day possible. We know oftentimes if you're in our hospital, for example, you're not in a good situation in your life. And so we really want to try and make sure that we can bring any light that we can to that time. Okay. So, and I want to ask you on a personal level, you and I were talking before I hit the record button, but um, you're not from Perm, right? You weren't born and raised in Perm. No. Tell, us how, tell us how you ended up in Perm. Yeah, so I actually grew up in the cities, and when I was 21, my husband and I moved to Perm. No family, no ties, anything. He happened to know a couple people and had experienced the outdoors here, and so we moved, and I have been at Perm Health now for about five and a half years, and definitely this is where I'm meant to be. This is our home. We really, really enjoy the area, and it just, I never imagined that I would feel so comfortable in a place where we didn't have true family but this really is where we're meant to be so what do you guys do for fun when you're when you're when you're not working what is what is uh what is a typical uh tuesday or saturday or what you other than work what what's what do you guys do to keep yourself occupied well, a lot of it depends on the weather. Um, when it's been as cold as it is, it's we're not quite as active. Um, but we really enjoy getting out. Um, the summer, every weekend, we would go to a different state park or a different path. Um, we like to run. My husband pushes our daughter in the stroller, and I run beside them. So um, we really enjoy going to the Arvig Park. Um, Battle Lake has some really nice areas, Park Rapids. So just really kind of getting out and exploring and being outside as much as we can. Okay. And anything else that you think is important that people need to know about Perm Health as, as an organization? Yeah. So there's, there's a couple of things besides just working here. Um, we do have really awesome volunteer opportunities. So there's a lot of um, people that we have. If you've noticed when you come into the hospital, there's always a greeter who's there with a welcoming face, happy to get you a wheelchair, get you wherever you need to go. Um, we have a very active volunteer basis on our nursing home campus that helps with different activities with the residents, um, different services. So really there's a lot of options for that. 
And then we have some really new things or awesome new things that we're really trying to kind of get the word spread on. Um, so one of those things is you've probably heard there's a national shortage of nursing assistance, especially in long term care facilities. So we have a really cool program that we're just kind of really launching and we actually will help pay for someone to become a CNA. Um, so we have the option where we pay for the course, we pay for the test, and then after completion, if you come be an employee for us, we also give you a stipend of $1,500. So that is huge. Um, so that's one option. And then we also are really trying to help grow people who are interested in furthering their education. So we have a Pathways Career Scholarship. So this, again, is kind of focused on the long-term care campus just because there's a really strong need there. Um, and there's kind of the basics of this program is you can have up to $15,000 a year if you're going to college that we pay for. It's a scholarship as long as you're doing something that is in a field that relates to the nursing home area. So um, nursing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, social work. So there's kind of a wide gambit of that. So something that I think is really cool for either high school students or even adults that are just looking for a change. And so there's there's a lot of innovative programs is, is what it sounds like that you guys are tapping into creating to try to to try to incentivize people even above and beyond the normal means of, of choosing a career there right yes yes and i mean the big thing too is um everybody's competing for employees we know this job market is everyone's everyone's kind of challenged but i feel like we have such an advantage because we can say that we truly make a difference in people's lives every day and that's just something that a feeling is so rewarding that you just can't explain unless you have been there so where where should people go is there a website is there a number they should call who's if people want to learn more and start to explore these career opportunities where should they go yeah definitely so permhealth.org um you can either go slash careers or on our page you can go in there it lists all of our current openings and it also gives some extra information about the things that i just mentioned so that pathway scholarship that becoming a cna um, all sorts of different resources are there and also um, there's some really good pictures to try and explain our culture it's hard to capture that without yeah, actually feeling yeah. that um, so there's some good pictures, um, just talks about different events that we do and really try and try and keep things light, especially and with a tough world with everything that's going on right now. And, and that was the, the last thing that I wanted to say was thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody that you run into today say, hey, Otter Tail Lakes Country Association wants to say thank you. I know it's been a really hard two years to be in the healthcare industry. And I just I wanted to personally thank you and your staff and 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 um, just thanks. I mean, you guys have been through the ringer and um, and and hopefully brighter days lay ahead. But we really appreciate all that that, that you do. Well, thank you. We're fortunate to have such an awesome, strong team who, as difficult as it is, continues to go above and beyond and just provide excellent care. All right. Anything else you think is important that you want people to know? Nope, not at this point. If you're looking for a career where you really can make a difference, we'd love to have you come join our team. All right. Well, thank you for joining us this morning, and uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll get to see you around. And uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me.